So, it's time to continue working on my game, Balls. And I'm not gonna lie, I have some very exciting ideas. So strap in, because we are going to play one of the most extreme games of the floor is lava. Before we jump further into this video, there is a little challenge attached here. Since I started learning game dev these past two months, I relied a lot on tutorials and guides. But to test my knowledge, I made everything in this video completely myself. No tutorials, no guides, no outside help. Only me and my limited Unreal Engine knowledge. And to be honest with you, I wish I could make this video more dramatic by saying it was crazy hard and I almost lost my mind and add some drama to it, but it really wasn't that hard. Anyways, for this Bali update, I had one crucial thing to implement before I do anything else. And that is adding a glorious cactus because of a challenge I issued in my second devlog. Monsieur Cactus found all the gems in the second level of balls and therefore won the right to ask for any item to be implemented into balls. And being the original person he is, he decided to ask for a cactus. Of all the items you could have asked for, you asked for a cactus. So I quickly modeled a cactus, added it into the game and gave it a very special and unique ability. But you'll have to find the cactus in the game to find out what exactly it does. Okay, now that we have this done, let's get to the more interesting parts of the devlog. For this next level, I actually want to add a new movement mechanic. That mechanic is wall running. I've always loved the wall running ability, especially in the likes of Titanfall, Prince of Persia, and yes, also, Danny's Carson. Oh, you don't know what Carson is? <laughs> Carson is like, get away! <laughs> There's something so satisfying about gliding along walls and keeping a fast momentum throughout the whole level. And so I went to work and boy oh boy, trying to get the numbers right so that it feels just right was pretty tough. But basically the way it works is when Polly is not on the ground, he checks left and right to see if there is a wall close enough. He does this through a line trace or how other peasant game engine call it, Raycast. Anyway, if there is a wall close enough, then it reduces the strength of gravity, applies a force towards the wall, which makes it feel like the ball sticks on the wall, and also slightly increases the momentum speed so that you gain momentum while wall running. And this is a pretty simple but yet effective way of adding wall running to the game. However, this looks incredibly weird without a visual indication that you are wall running. And therefore, I need to give Bolly some wall running animations. But if you've seen one of my last videos, you know that I'm not a huge fan of animations. So, I cheated. Now, you might be wondering, how the f*** do you cheat at animating a character? Well, instead of creating an animation rig with bones and everything, I just tilt the upper part of the character left or right, depending on where the side of the wall is, which makes it look like he's running sideways on the wall. And to be fair, I'm very happy with the result. It looks pretty good to me. So the wall running is done and works fine, but there is no real introduction to wall running. So obviously I decided to slightly change my first two levels to include some sort of wall running introduction or tutorial. So mechanic is in, we have included it in my tutorial, time to make a level that takes advantage of this new mechanic. And so... I had this idea. Since I can now basically run on walls and I have a physics-based grappling hook, I kinda recreated Spider-Man as a ball. Which is something I already joked about in my first video about balls. It all comes full circle, doesn't it? So why not give our spider ball a city to grapple in around? Well, this already sounds fun enough, but I wanted to spice things up even more. So I made a city that is inside a volcano sinking into the lava. You do realize that that makes like no sense at all. How would you even build a city inside a volcano? Why would you even build a city inside a volcano? 
No time to waste. I got to work on this new level. I surrounded an area with rocks and mountains, filled the floor with lava, and added a few low poly buildings and skyscrapers that are sinking into the lava. This gave me a lot of freedom to create a city like you have never seen before, with houses being completely sideways or even upside down. However, I did run into an issue. It turns out that when you use complex collisions and big numbers for your forces and movement, you start falling through stuff. And to fix this, I would have to recode the whole game, but with like lower numbers and stuff, and I just don't want to do that. So how did I fix it? Well, don't laugh. I basically just added invisible cubes that have simple collisions to the area where Bolly was going to go on, which gave it a way stronger colliding strength or something like that. But since you don't see this mess and it prevents you from flying through the buildings and floors, I think this works quite well. And this is it. This is the third level of Bali. Now, is this level perfect? No, no it's not. It's short and could be vastly improved upon. But as I stated in my first video about this game, Balls is not really a game. It's my game dev playground where I can challenge myself and simply let my imagination loose. You're welcome to go and play around in this playground of mine and test the mechanics and levels I created and even give me some feedback. But don't expect it to be the next Super Mario Bros because it will never be that. Link in the description by the way. Oh, and... Have you seen my last video where I tried to learn programming in less than one week? Well, check it out. It's right here. It's somewhere there. I remade a quite popular game using C++ only. Oh yeah. Do -do 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 -do.